hello friends hi uh, so uh, it's a great uh, feeling today with to have uh, with me dr bimsi uh, bimsi is rank 3 in neat ss surgical group and i am absolutely delighted to have him here with us and i'm sure him and his family must also be uh, in the seventh heaven you know after securing such a great rank how do you feel bimsi as uh, it's a, it's a good feeling so because uh, this was my second attempt there and the first time was i i was just getting seat by margin and those seats are a few which was uh, which were usually left by everyone so i decided to keep at that time uh, i tried second time with bit more hard schedule and uh, i get rank 3 so it's feeling bit satisfied that key whatever i done the work i did it's bit uh, sure sir it's a satisfying uh, so bimsi what do you uh, what specialty are you interested in what are you planning to take uh, sir i am interested in gi surgery So, and uh, uh, any specific institute you have in mind uh sir sure. i will join in the mamsi only which is my parent institute okay. at uh, gb pant hospital great 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 hey so bimsi tell me more about yourself so where are you from when did you do your schooling uh, under graduation post graduation uh, yes sir. basically sir i am from jamnagar gujarat i completed my mbbs from bjmc ahmedabad and i completed my ms from uh, molana azad medical college new delhi in year of 2021 uh, after that uh, yes sir, the uh, uh, in the year of 2021 august i completed my uh, ms after that within two months i appeared in the exam which was bit different from this one and uh, after 6 to 8 month after that one i appeared in this exam which was my second attempt great bimsi i think i think uh, i think it's pretty phenomenal but why specifically gi surgery uh, were you always focused on gi surgery or uh, no sir are you having a great rank so now you want to take gi surgery so no no sir it, it it wasn't like that sir um uh, initially in in our, uh, i decided for the gi surgery in during my uh, initial years only in uh, in the first year my guy asked me that key which specialty are i going to choose i said at that time only that gi surgery is going to be my specialty because the much of our work is focused on abdomen and gi surgery cases only so if i'm going to choose at this time okay uh, now i want to take neuro surgery that's going to be wastage of that three years of knowledge so i decided i should yes so i decided that i should go with this things only sir and before that i made a mistake also during a, it wasn't mistake but i wasn't a no wise and at that time i uh, Uh, after mbbs i choose for the md radiology i completed a year in md radiology and after that i started feeling that ki i am not interested in this branch so i left md radiology and started for again started preparing for the neat ss and at that time i had just one and half months so apg that was APG second that yeah. neat pg yes sir and after that even the nimhans i i cleared the nimhans with the all india rank 70 oh, but i was not getting the yes I, i was not getting the uh, mch seat so it was in in, the, in the, those both things were the blessing for me i think because i currently i think that ki, uh, i if i am going to be neurosurgeon i should have left that branch also equal to md radiology sir. because i i know my nature now i know that ki, i am not interested in neurosurgery not interested in md radiology but if we try in this way then it's going to be wastage yes, of time I, I <laughs> obviously i think i think that's such a <laughs> such a you know a refreshing thing to hear right now and and i'm sure that your experience one year in md radiology uh, that was so fabulous sir. use in surgery because, yes sir you know, yes sir a reading as a uh, and you know uh, so uh, right now i'm doing a lot of work in ai in surgery and radiology as a part of my personal another startup and my research at yes. iit madras and i feel that as a surgeon uh, the knowledge of radiology is very yes, important sir. and i think that one year in radiology would have made a significant difference in your approach towards surgery itself if i am not mistaken yes sir yes it's obviously sir because in radiology by the way uh, sir bjmc ahmedabad oh great 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 and sir in bjmc ahmedabad there is a part gcri which is a second option is for for the onco surgeon after tata memorial gcri ahmedabad is a yes, second yes. option for like usually sir and there is case load is a quite quite much like in in a day we do approximately 140 to 150 ct scans oh so God. anatomy is going to be perfect for everyone so and that 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 one is quite useful because the the ct are reported by the first year pg only and the mri is reported by the second year pg and the third year pg is just for reading only in gcri for radiologist it's a quite good sir and intervention exposure is quite good even in gcri when you when you're getting uh, when you're able to drain a, a liver abscess through pictel oh yes 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 
it's going to yes. be child's play for you and moreover you know when you get into gi surgery i think i'm very excited for you because you know uh, if there's a ct scan or a, a pancreatic protocol they want to see a which a borderline uh, <laughs> sectable or not i think you are going to be better than the radiologist and yeah. most of your senior pg is also if i may comment so, yeah. yeah so i think it's going to be pretty amazing great great so i think that's a very interesting uh, thing which i heard with say i think mm. so i actually more than you i am having fun in this conversation to be honest yes <laughs> I got interested in the end of my first year only, and because I got uh, because of intervention only, I got interested in MS. That was a yeah. trial and error method. With intervention, I got interested that this one is a bit interesting for me. I should leave to leave the radiology and start for MS. One. And that was uh, it was a bit difficult because I need to pay a bond also, start reading again, and everything. Yeah, I can I can assure you yeah. that because I am facing something uh, very similar. So after about one and a half years of my MCH in pediatric surgery, I am quitting. my mch almost because of um, you know uh, certain health reasons and as well as uh, it was my passion it still is my passion uh, yes, uh, but i'm having to quit uh, because uh, of my work in artificial intelligence at iit madras so you know you are forced oh. to choose between two things yes. it's very difficult <laughs> it's very difficult i can understand yes so sir I, I, it's it's totally so bimsi uh, how did what are the books you use for your preparation so the, for this time uh, i used bailey sebastian and squares only the mainly 90 90% of those goes i i read from the bailey and sebastian only the squares for the breast thyroid and the few parts of pediatric surgery sir. i think this is very similar to what we spoke about in uh, some of the study tips and yes, yes i think sir. that's that's a very uh, a very good way of preparing read endocrine surgery from schwartz gi surgery from sebastian and everything else from bailey so yes, uh bimsi Did you use search test for your preparation? Yes, sir. I, I uh, in year of two thousand twenty one, uh, need to assess was a bit different from this one. At that time, the GI surgery, onco surgery was a separate one. At that time, I subscribed to the GI surgery's videos and the general surgery MCQs and GI surgery MCQs. For the second time, I've subscribed for the MCQs only because I already watched the videos so during the Great. second time. Yes, sir. So and keep so, keep keep revising those MCQs. Uh, repeatedly because approximately it was 2800 mcq something exactly so i kept kept revising th- those mcqs so did you find them useful yes sir in in the bailey sir it it was quite useful because if you read a chapter and then start re- uh, start attempting the mcq or you read you, you start with the mcq now you get already good the idea that how you should read or attempt that chapter then again read that chapter and after one to two weeks again start from this chapter only like you complete the chapter number 1 and now you see after one week that key how many question you are getting right from uh, that part only good man good good to see i think that's 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 a pretty insightful thing any advice okay. you would give for people who are preparing right now uh so the main main thing the for a preparation in this case is the persistence uh, because it's it's a, it's a bit of time get you matlab in in start Uh, attempting the MCQs. When you start attempting the MCQs, then the rank going up and down. At that time, it's look a bit uh, disappointing when you start. Like in my case, uh, I was continuously in one to ten. And when when I uh, when I appeared in the NEET SS for first time in year of two thousand twenty one, my rank point was not even in hundred. At that time, I completely tired. I I don't know ki what happened because at, at that time, sir, the pediatric surgery was rank deciding. The ma- many questions were from the pediatric surgery. Absolutely, now, that was my that was my weakest point. At this time, the CTVS was rank deciding. The majority of the, in year of two thousand twenty one. But I think because I got majority of question right out of CTVS, so currently I'm uh, be able to take this top ten rank, sir. Uh, otherwise, but I need. I think everyone uh, who aspire to become a uh, super specialist start reading from the year of uh, second year only. And subscribe to the few videos and MCQs. MCQs already says videos are uh, for the concept based uh, chapters. The videos are okay, but MCQs are useful for each and every chapter because uh, even if we read a chapter once or twice, we don't know exactly from where the question is going to be asked or the pattern in which is going to be asked. So the MCQ was such a MCQ for me was uh, quite useful. Hey, and I think. Hey. great man i think i think you 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 given fantastic advice to uh, uh the students uh bimsi where do you see yourself 10 or 15 years down the line what do you want to be doing where do you want to be 
Uh, so I, I, I decided for something, but sir, it's, I think it's uh, pretty much optimistic. Um, but uh, let's see, it's like I, I, I initially I planned that key. I did a uh, one year in the MD radiology. I know the USG. I know the liver uh, um, ultrasonogram. I know the liver, liver uh, CT scan. So I, I should go with this uh, liver transplant only. But currently it's a bit hazy and I'm going with uh, GI because it's uh, a bit broad category. And uh, so it's, sorry, it's a, uh, like uh, it's a bit compromised because uh, currently I'm going with the GI and uh, af after three years, I may go with uh, some fellowship course where I can, where I can go for liver transplant Transplant. or something. Yes. So for take, the, life currently, as, take life as it comes, man. Take life as it comes. I think, I think you will enjoy it. I think yes. you are a fantastic soul. You are extremely determined. You are extremely perseverant. And I think, I think, uh, I think that, that is your biggest strength. And Mimsy, uh, from the entire search team, uh, I really feel happy for you. And uh, I wish you all the best in your life and in your future. Man, this was thank a very enlightening conversation and a very light conversation as well. Hey, thank you so much for being here with us today. Thank you. Thank you for motivating. Sir. Thank you, sir.